Hey there, everybody. I'm CNY Central First Alert meteorologist Matt Stevens. I hope this weekend has been going well for you. Weather-wise, we lucked out for a good chunk of it, but the rain has returned. You know what? That's a good thing. We need the rain. We're actually borderline desperate for the rain right now. I know my lawn's getting a little crunchy. Uh, my fellow co-worker here at CNY Central, Michael Benny, just tweeted out a few moments ago talking about how brown his lawn is as well. So rainfall-wise, just a trace so far at the Syracuse Hancock Airport today. We need some more. We are about two inches below average for the year rainfall wise. That's starting to get a little hefty in the deficit department. Also note if you tighten up that perspective, just look at uh, the start of what we call meteorological summer that began June 1st, by the way, then we have a deficit of about three quarters of an inch. That's not as dramatic, but still we'd like to shore those numbers up a little bit. Typical high this time of the year is 80 degrees. We hit a high of 84, so a hint on the warm side for this time of the year's averages or standards. 58 our low this morning. Very much standard stuff for this time of the year. Records are 93 and 45. Both of those are safe. All right, here's a fast gas to get you on through the rest of tonight. Scattered showers and storms. Some of those could be strong too severe with a cold front swinging through in the wake of that cold front. Look at how much cooler we are. We hit a high of 84 today on the high of 69 degrees so a good 15 degrees cooler or so in that general ballpark by tomorrow. So we will be on the chilly side for this time of the year standards tomorrow. Scattered showers, maybe even an isolated storm. Here's how we're going to do it. The comfort scale. Remember a very good measure of how comfortable or uncomfortable the air mass is by our central New York standards. Dew points overnight on the borderline between muggy and humid in the low to middle 60s. Tomorrow, I think we see a dramatic drop off in those numbers, probably down to the pleasant range. But the problem is there's still enough moisture and enough energy around to pop off those scattered showers, maybe even an isolated storm. Futurecast confirms for us that, yeah, we've got a cold front swing through. Look at this midnight, going to run the south through 8 o'clock in the morning. Look at that line of showers and thunderstorms that the Futurecast fires up for us. That's right along the cold front. Now, out ahead of the cold front, we've already seen some activity this evening and I suspect that will be the case right through this evening and overnight. So along the actual cold front, which I think swings through sometime after two, three, four o'clock in the morning or so, that's when we have the most high or the highest likelihood of strong and severe thunderstorms featuring potentially gusty winds, hail. We'll keep you posted on that hour by hour through the day. Monday, the cold front is through winds are breezy out of the northwest a good 15 to 25 miles per hour with showers, maybe some steady rain, maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder as well on Monday. Monday. Monday evening showers turn isolated. We'll call it varying amounts of cloud cover overnight. Then during the day Tuesday, lingering spotty showers breezy. Once again, that upper air energy pretty stagnant spinning around just up to our east and our northeast. As a result of that orientation, will keep us on the cool side for Tuesday. High temperatures Tuesday only up around 70 hour by hour through this evening. Scattered showers and storms 6 to 8 by 68 by 11 o'clock. Bottoming out overnight, probably right around 60 degrees with showers and storms. Some of them could be strong to severe hour by hour through Monday morning. Breezy with scattered showers, winds northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures low to mid 60s tomorrow morning, topping out in the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. Scattered showers, maybe even an isolated storm. That high of 69 to good 11 degrees below average for this time of the year. Here's my seven day forecast. We're breezy and cooler tomorrow at 69, 53 for Monday night to Tuesday morning with an isolated shower. Breezy. 70 on Tuesday, lingering spotty showers about lingering shower up to the north on Wednesday. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds at 79 degrees. By the time we get to Thursday and Friday, I think some more muggy air is going to start to infiltrate the viewing area. Once again, we'll call it partly to mostly sunny Thursday at 87 and muggy, muggy 90 Friday. Scattered showers and storms possible in the wake of that. We only dropped down to the low 80s Saturday with an isolated shower.